in the last chapter we have studied one valence electron system where we have studied the spectra of uh, sodium atom so sodium is an example of one valence electron system after studying one valence electron system in this chapter uh, today we are going to learn two valence electron system so this is a third chapter two valence electron system and uh, here specially as an example of two valence electron system we are going to study the spectra of uh, helium atom so you know uh, helium uh, atomic number two and it has only two electrons so it is uh, ex an example of uh, two valence electron system so uh, in uh, this first uh, video uh, I am going to explain this uh, uh, important topic known as LS coupling. So uh, the examples of uh, two valence electron system for example here helium uh, and some alkaline earth elements like beryllium, magnesium, calcium. So these atoms they have two valence electron. So the spectra uh, of these uh, system two valence electron system that we are going to study here so what kind of couplings or interactions are possible in this uh, in these atoms that we are going to discuss here so if you assume any any particular atom which is having two valence electron now suppose uh, if that atom is excited so what will happen either so we have two valence electrons so either of this electron that means only one electron or the, both the electrons they will be excited in the higher state and they will perform a reverse transition uh, that means they will come back again to the ground state and in this process they gives out photon that will constitute the spectra of these elements so uh, in one valence electron system uh, there was only one interaction that we have considered if you remember that is a spin orbit interaction and because of that interaction energy uh, we have studied how the spectral term exists in one valence electron system but here since we have two electron so two electrons separately they have their own uh, orbital motion they have their own spin motion and there can be different possible combination of interaction so some of these interaction we are going to first of all uh, discuss here now uh, this this atom which consists of two valence electron with a different spin and orbital angular momenta so there can be a coupling spin which is necessary to obtain the resultant angular momentum because this resultant angular momentum that is important for us in spectroscopy we call it as total angular momentum or total momentum of an atom that is j which is represented by capital j so total uh, momentum of the atom j which is actually uh, giving us the term values in the actual spectra of that particular element okay now uh, let us try to define or let us try to understand the spectral terms of two valence electron atom now in two valence electron system as i have mentioned each electron has its own orbital angular momentum that is L star let us represent it, uh, represent it by vector L star and the spin angular momentum that is vector S star. So the vector addition if you perform the vector addition of this L star and S star that is angular momentum and the spin momentum so that will give us the total angular momentum of the atom that is J. So vector L star and S star of each electron interacts or couples. So we can use parallelly the word either interaction or coupling. So 
the vector L star and N star of each electron interacts or couples with each other in several ways because now we have two electrons and each of these electron has its own vector L star and S star. So, there are four vectors, okay. L star of first electron, L star of second electron, okay. We can call it as L1 star, L2 star. Similarly, S star of first electron, let us call it as S1 star and the spin angular moment of second electron, that is S2 star. So, four vectors and these four vectors, they can interact, they can couple in uh, different possible ways. The two prominent interactions or coupling schemes which which are important or they are strong you can say which are producing the terms in the spectra. So, these schemes coupling schemes they are LS coupling and JJ coupling. So, we are going to focus on these two prominent interactions which are observed in two valence electron system. Uh, and which are very helpful to understand the spectra of such particular uh, two valence electron atoms. So, LS coupling and JJ coupling. So, today we are going to discuss about uh, LS coupling. Okay. So, let us see what is this uh, LS coupling. Now, the LS coupling, it is also known as Russell Saunders coupling. So, theoretically which was defined earlier by the scientists. Russell and Saunders. So, it is named after them that is uh, Russell Saunders uh, coupling. So, how they have defined this, this type of coupling? So, if you have uh, the system of many electron uh, having their uh, different orbital momenta vectors, for example, L1 vector L1, L2, L3 and so on, then they combine these vectors, L vectors, they combine to form the resultant L. Resultant L means what? The total orbital momentum of an atom. And what are these L1 vector L1, L2, L3? These are the orbital momenta of individual electron. Okay. So, these vectors, they combine all these L1, L2, L3 vectors combine to give the resultant orbital momenta that is L. So, L is equal to L1 plus L2 plus L3. So, you can just see it as a vector addition. Okay. Then, each individual electron has its spin momentum also. So, if you consider S, vector S as representing the spin momenta. So, each individual electron has different spin momenta. So, S1, vector S1, S2, S3. Suppose, it represents the spin momenta of individual electron in an atom. So, the total spin momentum of an atom that is represented by vector S, capital S. So, that will be vector addition of all these individual spin momentum of each electron in an atom. So, this is, this is how the uh, L vector that is total capital L, I am talking about capital L, that is the total orbital momentum and the S vector that is the total spin momentum of the atom that, that is possible here according to Russell Saunders. Now, after this, the L vector that is total momentum vector, angular momentum, orbital momentum vector and the total spin momentum vector of an atom they will combine or interact to form the resultant that is the total angular momentum of an atom and this total momentum we need to define the spectral terms of an atom. So, this is how theoretically Russell and Saunders has represented this LS coupling. So, it is very simple the total orbital momentum is vector sum of individual orbital momenta of electrons. The total spin momenta are vector sum of the spin momenta of each individual electron and finally, this total orbital momentum and total spin momentum, they interact or combine to give the resultant momentum, total momentum of an atom. So, this is the LS coupling. So, since we are talking about the two valence electron system and let us 
assume that L1 and L2 represent their orbital quantum number. So, for these two electrons, we shall assume that L1 and L2, these are the uh, two orbital quantum number for this individual electron. And let us assume that their orbital angular momenta are L1 star and L2 star. Now, according to quantum mechanics, this L1 star and L2 star, they are quantized. Okay. So, uh, earlier also in one wireless electron system, we, we have seen the space quantization, the concept of space quantization. So, both the L vector and S vector we have assumed to be quantized. So, quantum mechanically, this here also L1 star and L2 star, they are quantized with respect to each other in such a manner that the total orbital momenta, so L star, that is simply the addition of these two, L1 star and L2 star. So, you can assume it as a vector addition. So, L star is equal to L1 star plus L2 star. Now, uh, this L star, quantum mechanically, it is defined as L star is equal to under root of L in bracket L plus 1, where L takes the values quantum mechanically, L takes the values from uh, mod of L1 minus L2 to mod of L1 plus L2. So, if you uh, know the value of L1 and L2, this uh, the orbital quantum number of the individual electron. So, you can find out the uh, values of L. Okay. So, L values you can easily find out from this mod of L1 minus L2 to mod of L1 plus L2. And uh, this is this is what uh, you can represent uh, the LS coupling in the form of this simple diagram uh, representing each circle. For example, here the L1 star of first electron and L2 star of first electron. So, it will give you the total uh, orbital momenta vector L star. So, this is represented by this equation. Okay. L star is equal to L1 star plus L2 star. So, this is L star. Similarly, you can think of this S1 star and S2 star, okay, this green circle. So, S1 star, the spin momenta vector of the first electron, this is for second electron, they will combine to give the total spin momenta vector S star, okay. So, which is quantized according to quantum mechanics. And finally, this L star and this S star it will combine to give the total uh, angular momenta of an atom that is J, the total angular momenta of the uh, atom that is J. And uh, another kind of representation, uh, vector representation, you can uh, just see this. This is very uh, interesting uh, representation here. Uh, so, you can uh, just consider this, this L1 star. First of all, this is L1 star. So, this is the orbital uh, vector of the first electron, orbital momentum vector of the first electron. This is L2 star that is representing the orbital momentum vector of the second electron and this L1 star and L2 star uh, in a vector manner they produce the resultant L star. Similarly, you can think of the spin of an electron. So, S1 star representing the spin momentum of first electron, S2 star for the second electron and they result in S star. Now, this vector L star and this S star, so vector addition you can perform here and that will give the resultant that is J star. Okay. So, that is what the LS coupling. So, both these diagrams, the earlier diagram in the form of circles and this actual diagram where the vectors, individual vectors of electron L1 star, L2 star, S1 star, S2 star, they are shown here and they resultant also this L star and this S star to give the resultant that is total angular momentum of an atom that is J star. So, this, uh, this, this is how one can represent this uh, LS coupling in the form of diagrams. Okay, now uh, the individual interactions as I have mentioned here, there, there can be different possible interactions. Uh, the four vectors which we have considered here and these four vectors they can combine or they can interact, they can couple in different possible ways. So, uh, Russell and Solder in LS coupling, we have seen that the uh, 
capital L that is total orbital momenta of an atom that is capital L that is equal to L1 vector L1 plus vector L2 plus L3 and so on. Okay. So, this, this resultant orbital momenta of an atom that is possible because of a coupling that we call as LL coupling that is called as LL coupling. LL means the orbital moment of first electron interact with orbital moment of second electron. So, that you can consider in a vector manner, vector addition. Okay. Now, suppose we have these two electrons having the value L1, the orbital quantum number L1 is equal to 1, L2 is equal to 2. So, according to quantum mechanical conditions, the L values are as I have mentioned mod of L1 minus L2 to mod of L1 plus L2. So, all these values from mod of L1 minus L2, so L1 is 1, L2 is 1, so 1 minus 1 that is 0 up to mod of L1 plus L2, L1 is 1. L2 is 1, so 1 plus 1 that is 2. So, 0 to 2 all the values that means 0, 1 and 2 all these are the values of L. Now, these are represented by a typical diagrams which are called as vector diagram. So, how L1 and L2 having values 1, each one having values 1, it will produce the vector L having values 0, 1, 2. So, there are different, three different possible uh, interactions. They are represented in the form of diagrams. These diagrams, they are called as vector diagram. And this, this, this is a simple way to understand the kind of coupling or the kind of interaction here. So, let us see here for this particular example where L1 is equal to 1, L2 is equal to 1. That means the LL coupling. See here, this L1 is equal to 1 and L2 is equal to 1. These two vectors their magnitude is equal but their directions are opposite so vector sum total momentum that will be l will be equal to 0 so this is how l is equal to 0 and its magnitude l star will also equal to 0 then next possible vector diagram you can see here this vector l1 is 1 l2 is 1 see the orientation so the resultant l is equal to 1 here the resultant l is equal to 1 Therefore, its magnitude here L star that is given by quantum mechanically under root of L in bracket L plus 1 into H upon 2 pi. So, L star will be, so L if you substitute 1 here, so that is 1 in bracket 1 plus 1 that is 2 here. That is, uh, you can see here this, uh, that should be root 2 H cross. This, this is actually root 2 H cross, sorry. So, it is represented here root 2 H cross. So, that is the magnitude of this this particular uh, resultant L that is L star and finally the third uh, value L is equal to 2 here. So, we have represented this diagram for these three uh, resultant values of L here L is equal to 0, L is equal to 1 and L is equal to 2 here. So, see the orientation of these vectors L1 1 L2 sorry L1 1 L2 1 and therefore total that uh, resultant of these two that is L is equal to 2 and therefore here if L is equal to 2 here 2 in bracket 2 plus 1 that is 3 into 2 that is 6 so root 6 H cross it is root 6 H cross ok. So, this this is how the, uh, the resultant one can easily find out here. So, just consider this value L star is equal to root 6 H and L star is equal to root 2 H cross. H cross you know in quantum mechanics it is H upon 2 pi. Just ignore this, these values actually. Uh, this is uh, just a printing mistake here. Okay. So, another example L1 is equal to 1 and L2 is equal to 2 now. For LL coupling L1 is equal to 1, L2 is equal to 2. So, the values of L are 1, 2, 3. Why? These values because you can find out mod of L1 minus L2 up to mod of L1 plus L2. So, L1 minus L2 or you can say we are taking the magnitude only. So, 2 minus 1 that is 1 and 2 plus 1 that is 3. So, 1, 2, 3 that means 1, 2, 3 all these 3 values. So, these are the resultant L values and these are represented by vector diagram simply you can see here. So, uh, L1 is equal to uh, 
L1 is equal to 1 and L2 is equal to 2 here. So you can you can see this L is equal to 1 the first combination and this first combination you can see here uh, that is L star is equal to root 2 H. Similarly these vectors here. So both of these uh, L2 is equal to 1 and L1 is equal to 2 here the re resultant L is equal to 2 and therefore L star is equal to root 6 H cross root 6 H cross and finally uh, L1 is equal to 2 L2 is equal to 1 uh, so here instead of taking L1 is equal to 1 and L2 is equal to I have taken L1 is equal to 2 and L2 is equal to 1 okay anyway it is the same thing it is the same thing it doesn't make uh, any uh, any problem here okay so uh, the resultant L will be 3 here so these three values L is equal to 1 L is equal to 2 and L is equal to 3 and the corresponding uh, magnitudes that is L star okay according to the formula uh, L star is equal to under root of L in bracket L plus 1 into H upon 2 pi okay so this is what the uh, LL coupling that we have represented here similarly uh, according to Russell Saunders uh, uh, interaction or LS coupling so the second uh, equation that we have rep represented the total spin momenta of an atom capital S that is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 and so on where S1, S2, S3 these vectors they represent the spin momenta of individual electron okay so the uh, SS coupling you can call it as SS coupling so spin momenta of one electron interacts with spin momenta of another electron to give the resultant spin momenta of an atom so with two electrons each having spin and angular momentum of a star h upon 2 pi where a star is equal to under root of s in bracket s plus 1 okay so quantum mechanically it is represented by a star h upon 2 pi where a star is under root of s in bracket s plus 1 and s you know that the spin uh, quantum number uh, it is half only one half okay so s1 star and s2 star uh, they represent the respective spin vectors for the two electron and now the uh, vector diagram for SS coupling you can represent as see these two diagrams only because we have S1 is equal to half and S2 is equal to half both of these two spin quantum numbers are half only so you can see S1 is equal to half S2 is equal to half so uh, these vectors one in the upward direction in the downward direction so they are equal in magnitude and opposite direction so s the total spin momenta that will be zero here and here they are oriented in such a manner that s1 and s2 to produce s that is equal to one here okay that is equal to one so for s is equal to zero s star its magnitude will be zero s star will be zero here and for s is equal to one it will be uh, a star will be under root of s in bracket s plus 1 that is 1 in bracket 1 plus 1 that is root 2 okay so for s star so for s is equal to 0 for s is equal to 0 it represent the singlet terms okay while studying the spectral notations we have defined multiplicity of states okay multiplicity of states that is 2s plus 1 so here when s is equal to 0 so 2s plus 1 that will be uh, 1 okay so that therefore multiplicity of states is 1 that represent the singlet terms and here when s is equal to 1 2 s plus 1 that will be 3 okay so therefore it represent the triplet term so in the spectra this multiplicity of states is very important to understand the uh, spectral terms which are singlet terms and which are triplet terms okay so this is all about the uh, LS coupling where both the interactions LL coupling and SS coupling we have defined in this particular uh, video.